Okay, so we're sitting again in the lift with Jimmy Peterson, known as the, well, you can introduce yourself probably better than I can. <laughs> well, you know, I've, I've always uh, called myself a ski bum. You know, maybe I, I'm a ski entrepreneur, uh, but I've done many things uh, to keep skiing every season for the last 48 seasons. That includes, well, I've, you know, I've worked coat check at, at discos and I had, uh, you know, taken the, the, uh, the tickets for entry to the discos. I've written books, I've written articles, I've taken photographs, I've ski instructed, I've worked as a singer entertainer, I've uh, leased a pension for eight seasons, I uh, had a bar with a friend for a number of seasons, um, and I've done a lot with organizing events for different, uh, tra for, for corporate events, you know. Okay, yeah. uh, where I arrange the whole thing. It's either an incentive trip or it's, it's internal uh, uh, trip for, you know, conference, uh, ski trip. And so, yeah, I've, I've done a lot of different things in that over the years. Yeah, but you're also like a very international person. Uh, you are American, right? I'm born in America. I have a, I moved to Sweden in 1987. Um, I have a house in Austria. And I, my girlfriend lives in Finland, in Helsinki. <laughs> so I, those are a few of the sort of major points of uh, port, uh, ports of call that I go to between Gothenburg, Altause in Austria, Salbach, which is my base for skiing in winter, and uh, Helsinki, where I often come to visit. Okay. So, um, what do you think about, uh, do you follow the World Cup on uh, TV nowadays? How much, uh, how much, uh, are, are, you, are you still interested in, in, in uh, do you know who, who are, the, are the great skiers uh, of today or? Uh... Well, <clears throat> that's a good question. I mean, I've never been that interested in, in following racing. I know you're a, a racer and, yeah. and you're very interested. Um, I followed it a lot. You know, in the days when it was every year, it was like Phil Mayer and Steve Mayer against Ingmar Stenmark. Uh, those were sort of uh, great days, and I was always, you know, competing well verbally with my Swedish buddies. You know, rooting for the Mayer brothers, and they were rooting for Stenmark. Uh, and we would stop skiing for an hour and you know wa watch the race. And sometimes I do that. I, of course, I watched part of the, uh, I watched the Hanenkam. Yeah. Uh, in Kitzbühel a, a, a few weeks ago, and have you have you ever been to the Hanenkam, you know, live to watch it live, or to any uh, World Cup event? Yeah, I've been to some. I, I actually I was I was in Kitzbühel the next day when um, after the Hanenkam when they had the slalom, yeah. and I and I watched uh, you know your then famous Finnish uh, racer who competed in that. Yeah. Um, what was his name? You tell me. Kale Palander. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, no, Kale Palander was there and, and, and uh, he didn't do that well that day. And But he actually, I think he won. Didn't he win? Not that, not that race. Not that, that one. short we are here skiing at Salba Hinterglen are you gonna are we gonna ski side by side and you film now uh, uh, yeah <laughs> I could do that <laughs> but but then you risk breaking the camera if you hit one of those little yeah uh, the camera is no problem but I, I risk uh, breaking myself and that's that would be worse so I think we just uh, turn off the camera just enjoy skiing together but it was nice to be talking to you like this and uh, let's keep on skiing pleasure yeah